Hello. My name is Humphrey Solomon Jr. Welcome to my channel. Our today's video presentation is about the case 2 of partial fraction decomposition, repeating linear factors. I will again discuss very helpful tips on how to use Casio ClassWiz calculator, to help us solve for the partial fractions faster. Before we continue, please watch my other tutorials about math lessons, and please subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. Now, let's find the partial fractions for the rational expression, the quantity 4x squared, minus 11x, plus 9, over the quantity, x cubed, minus 4x squared, plus 5x, minus 2. Our first step would be, to write the denominator in factored form. To do this, we will use our Casio ClassWiz calculator, and we have to put it in equation mode. First, we press the menu key, and look for equation mode by using the direction keys. Second, we will choose the option number 2, polynomial. Since our denominator is a polynomial in the third degree, we will input our desired degree, 3. We are now ready to input the coefficients and constant term of our denominator. We will follow the string of keys. After that, we will press the equals key to see our first value of x, x equals 2. This gives us the first factor which is, x minus 2. And, if we press the equals key again, we will see our second value of x, x equals 1. This also gives us the second factor which is, x minus 1. Notice that, we are expecting three factors for our denominator, but the calculator only gave us two factors. So, we will try to find the third factor by using the constant term of our denominator, and the two factors that we already found. Our right side is the constant term of our denominator. And on the left side, we have negative 1 times negative 2, which is equal to positive 2. To make this equal to our right side, we will need a value to fill in the missing factor, which is, negative 1, which fits perfectly. This tells us that the factor, x minus 1, is a repeating factor for our denominator. Now that we have written our denominator in factored form, we can write a partial fraction for each factor. Also, since x minus 1 is a repeating factor, we need to write its exponent with it when we use it for the second time. This rule will always apply to repeating factors in partial fraction decomposition. We will use the variables a, b, and c, as the numerators, since we are still in the process of finding the partial fractions, and we don't know those values yet. After that, we will combine these partial fractions into a single rational expression. Observe that, the rational expression we started with, and the rational expression we got with a, b, and c, have the same denominators. This will allow us to equate the numerator separately. And then, we can start simplifying our right side, by multiplying the quantities beside a, and expanding the square of the quantity beside c. After that, we can now distribute the variables a, b, and c carefully. Next, is to group together the terms with x squared, the terms with x, and the constant terms. We can now get a system of linear equations from here. We will get our first equation, by equating the coefficients of x squared from both sides. You can see, that I included a plus 0b here, so that we will not miss it later on, in our use of Casio ClassWiz calculator. Next, we will equate the coefficients of x to get our second equation, and so as the constant terms to get our third equation. We will now use the Casio ClassWiz calculator, to find the values of a, b, and c. First step, is to put the calculator in equation mode. Second, we will select the option 1, simultaneous equations. Third, we will input the number of equations we have in our system, which is 3. We are now ready to input the coefficients and constants, for each of the equations, of our system. Please follow the strings of keys here carefully for each equation. We will now press the equals key, to get our value of x, x equals 1. This value of x corresponds to our value of a. And, if we press the equals key again, we will get our value of y, 
y equals negative 2. This value of y corresponds to our value of b. Finally, if we press the equals key one more time, we will get our value of z, z equals 3. This value of z corresponds to our value of c. Please make sure that you don't switch the values of a, b and c, or else, your answer will be inaccurate. Our final answer in decomposing the rational expression into three partial fractions is, 1 over the quantity, x minus 1, minus 2, over the quantity x minus 1 squared, plus 3, over the quantity x minus 2. I hope this video helped you learn about the case 2 of partial fraction decomposition, repeating linear factors. You can also watch the other cases of partial fraction decomposition from my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Please share this video with your friends to help them learn more in math. Have a nice day. Hello.